education is really important and we all have to be educated. And education in China is it might be hard, but um, it f makes you feel feel happy. I don't know how to say how to describe that feeling, but um, it is happy because we are finally improving ourselves by studying. Five students and two teachers travel to China to experience what is claimed to be the world's toughest education system at Number Twenty Beijing High School. As they embark on this journey, they experience a whole new life and have an insight into the daily life of students and teachers as well as developing an understanding into why they hold the number one rank of numeracy and literacy scores. Furthermore, they get to embrace the Chinese culture by visiting some of the world famous landmarks such as the Great Wall of China, the Forbidden City and Tiananmen Square. They truly got to see what goes on behind the Great Wall. The emphasis that education is given in China is just huge, it's unbelievable. You, you can't describe it unless you come here and see for yourself um, the money that goes into the system, the grounds that this school is given, the facilities that the school has for their students is amazing. From 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., students attend nine lessons a day, including a morning exercise that is conducted before school. This strict regime makes the students disciplined and focused for their following school day. Often the Western world have certain stereotypes about the Chinese education system. However, it is clear to see that this is not always true. Many students enjoy school and want to come to school to ensure that they receive the best education. Many students are willing to put in the hard work and effort now because they constantly have desire to make themselves better. Um, so before I came here I thought that the school would be really, really strict and they would impose a lot of um, regulations to make sure that the school children or the students are, are are in order but um, when you actually come here you kind of find that it's in almost like a calm atmosphere and um, they really enjoy school and they like what they're doing. We spend more hours in school than in our homes so the school is like um, I don't know how to describe it uh, maybe a home for us but it's really hard to be uh, to stay in this big family because um, in China every student take a test months months and uh, if you get a very low point uh, you will be very sad and disappointed at yourself so we have to try hard to stay in this school they certainly feel the pressure because they get they're at school more than they are at home, so they get a lot of homework and they have to do a lot of extra study after school. So. Uh, we, we often um, finish our uh, finish our schoolwork at about eleven o'clock, uh, and we have to do many homework after school. They have a very long day. They um, get homework for every single lesson they have, um, which accounts to about six hours after school. Um, so they have a lot of work to be put in, which obviously we don't. I think most students um, can cope with it because they kind of have to. Um, but there are some students who maybe feel it a little bit more. When they are young and uh, they are told that study is very important, Mm. and they should have a well education and each family i think pays much attention to the students education mm. uh, and they think that's very important so i think the students uh, when they come to school um, they will try to behave mm. well that's what they did from there they are young so when they get older and uh, go into some junior or senior mm. and uh, I think that has become a habit. I think most lessons, they're ahead in terms of education. There's, in England, I think this, the learning and studying is more lax. There's obviously here that the students want to learn, hence there's the teachers aren't spending time controlling the class, 
making everyone calm down because everyone's willing and wanting to learn. And I just find this is probably the reason why the education system here and the grades are distinctly better than in England. The respect for their teachers can clearly be seen as they believe their education is all dependent on themselves. Students will help set up classrooms and prepare the next lesson for their teacher. As well as being devoted to their studies, they have a lot of respect towards their school environment. Often students would consider it a duty to ensure their school is clean and tidy. With commitment, teamwork and organisation skills, they uphold a lot of pride for their school. They are prepared for the lessons. No child at, in any class that we've been to has asked the teacher for a book. Um, no child has asked for pen, a pencil, ruler. There is no wasted time with learning. Um, not only do they work solidly for the full 40 minutes of each lesson, as soon as the bell goes, they are working and 40 minutes of a lesson is 40 minutes of a lesson and they are learning for 40 minutes of a lesson. And then once they have finished the school day, um, around about 5.30, they then go home and they continue to work. And I feel like they're so much more determined to learn and study and actually have a good education and I feel like in England we're so much we're so dependent on our teachers. The school system looks at the child as a whole they don't look at just the subjects they look at how to help a child for example the exercises that are done every single day are done because they benefit a child. You need to be not only exercise your mind, you need to exercise your body. It's not work, 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 work. There's breaks. They know that child can focus for 40 minutes and that's it. And then, you know, 10 minutes to give them for a break, another 40 minutes, then they massage their minds and their bodies, etc. And then they move on. As the Oaks Park students returned to England, they had a lot of things to consider. The system works for China because there are so many cultural factors that allow this to work. They are simply the best at what they do due to discipline, positive attitude and respect towards their education. When I'm